Hello, this is Kayla with the ODU ePortfolio Studio, and in this video, I will be showing you how to embed a Google document into your WordPress ePortfolio. So once you're in your WordPress ePortfolio, you want to go into the dashboard. To do this, we hover over the name of our site and then click Dashboard. This is our dashboard. It allows us to do several things, such as looking at our different pages, changing the appearance, and activating plugins. So what we want to do now that we are on the dashboard is go over to the plugins icon. Now that you are on the plugins page, you want to see advanced iframe once you see that at the very top, go ahead and click on Activate underneath it. Perfect, now you've activated Advanced iFrame. Now, click on Settings. Then you want to go to this Basic Settings tab. You're going to scroll down until you see examples, and then you're going to take your cursor and highlight this entire first example, including the brackets. Then you're going to copy that to your clipboard. Click Control C on Windows and Command C on Mac. Now that you've copied that to your clipboard, you want to go ahead and go back to your site. Once you are back on your site, go ahead and click on Edit Page up at the top in the blue. Now we're going to take our cursor, put it in our text box, and then we want to Control V to paste on Windows, Command V to paste on Mac. And now you should have this here. So now in order to embed our Google document, we're going to go ahead and find our Google document. I'm just going to use this random one right here. And then once you have your Google document opened, you're going to click share. And then you want to make sure that your sharing permissions are correct. I'm just going to go ahead and change this so that my sharing permissions are, are anyone with the link. Now I'm going to copy link and then I can click on done. Now let's go back to our WordPress page. You're going to take out everything that you see in these quotation marks. And then we're going to paste the link that we just copied of our Google Doc. This is what it should look like. Once we've made those changes, we will click um, Update in the right-hand corner, and then click View Page. Now if we scroll down, we can see that our Google Doc is embedded onto the page. Based on how large your Google document is, you can use any one of the examples from the advanced iframe. So if I go to plugins here and I go into settings, and then basic settings, all of these have different heights and widths so you can mess with all of those different ones and see which one works the best for you and the shape of your document and your ePortfolio. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you check out some other videos on our tutorial page and have a wonderful day.